Today is actually equal pay day as well during this Women's History Month, and we are highlighting a significant initiative aimed at recognizing and promoting gender equality in the workplace right here in St. Louis. And joining me this morning is Christy Bour... Bourgeois. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I knew I was going to mess up your last name. I'm sorry. Christy, it's so good to have you here this morning. And you're the chairperson of the Women in the Workplace Committee. And Christy, we want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day here. And we did want to talk about the 14 area employers that you are recognizing for promoting women in the workplace and equal pay. So let's delve right into it and a little bit about what your organization does. Yeah, absolutely. So the Women's Foundation, uh, we focus on being a catalyst for change for women's economic success. And we do that in a couple different ways. We do that at the individual level, at the policy level, and what we're here to talk about today at the workplace level. Um, so today on Equal Pay Day, uh, we want to honor the St. Louis organizations that really are doing a good job, that are getting it right, that are actually have uh, policies in place and that are really walking the walk to, to really support women and their economic success in the area. Because we have a lot of work to do. In Missouri, you know, we're not at equal pay. We're below the national average. We're at 79 and a half cents uh, per dollar that every man makes, which again is lower than, you know, the rest of the country. So, you know, we really do have our work cut out for us, which is why we do like to honor these wonderful organizations that are doing a good job. Absolutely. And I understand this is the seventh year of Women in the Workplace's employment scorecard. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing some improvements in gender equality? here? We sure place? are. We really are. I mean, these companies are really trying to put into place. We've seen a big leap forward in, you know, our three kind of uh, categories that we look at in, in the scorecard. We look at, you know, um, pay, equity, of course, and then we also look at policies in place that support women, be it for, you know, um, um, leave or paid time off or flexible work policies. Um, and then we also look at recruitment and advancement. And, you know, if you have those women on the board, if you have those women in upper management, um, if you have the women that are actually, you know, running the teams mm -hmm. versus, you know, at the lower levels. And we're showing some of these smaller organizations mm -hmm. in the St. Louis area with less than 50 employees that are, are doing this. And what does this scorecard mean for this year? I mean, are, are you seeing some new companies being highlighted in this too? We do. I mean, thankfully, we see the same ones regularly over and over, which we love to see. We love to see the same companies, you know, keeping, keeping up with these great policies and these great initiatives. Um, but we do have have a few new ones this year which we're very excited about that are joining the ranks of being companies that are doing a great job for women. And we're showing medium and large organizations there on the screen mm -hmm. as well. So very nice to highlight this. For more information on Women in the Workplace Employment Scorecard, you can visit WFSTL.org. We'll also put a link to that on our website, fox2now.com. But Christy, we want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your morning this morning. Thank you.